I would like to explain how string theory is connected to particle physics and things we know in nature. Um, so string theory is not uh, some theory people dreamt of uh, sitting isolated from the rest of the world and so on. So strings, uh, objects that behave like strings, were discovered in accelerators in the, in the 60s and 70s. Um, well, and now they, are continue to, they continue to be produced. Uh, um, these are objects uh, which are produced by strongly interacting particles, such as the proton. You collide two protons and you produce objects which look like tiny oscillating strings. Currently, the, the, the accepted theory for describing these processes is a theory called quantum chromodynamics. Um, this, this is a theory that's been used and is being used to describe uh, uh, collisions at the LH, at, at the Large Hadron Collider. It's the bread and butter, it's the, the, the first thing you see is uh, the interactions produced by quantum chromodynamics and out of those interactions you have to find the new physics like the Higgs boson and so on. Um, so it's a theory that's been very well tested. Uh, two particles collide, they can produce a large number of particles, etc. But at low energies, it, uh, these particles become strongly interacting and can produce these objects that look like strings. Uh, so we think of these strings are made, as made out of these gluons that we were talking about before. So a gluon is the particle that mediates the, the color force uh, or the strong force. And in fact, the, the fact that they produce these strings is one of the first reasons why people started studying string theory. It was not because of quantum gravity, it was because of these strings that were actually produced in colliders. I like to say that uh, so strings have already been discovered in some sense. 